What's up guys, Matt Tolbers today. We're gonna do a review on this RIT Fit adjustable weight bench. It's got real leather actually, and it's the blacked out version, which is why it's hard to see the logo. So let's do a quick review on it. Here it is, the RIT Fit adjustable weight bench. It is the foldable style. Uh, as you can see, it's really hard to see the logo because this is the blacked out version. They do have a version where it's like gray right here instead of black. So if you want that, you can get that style. Um, it does have that foam roller for to hold your legs, which is nice. And see how long it is? I do like that. Um, like the, the Flybird, it's that short style, which I hate. It's not good to do decline on. This one is very comfortable to do decline on. You won't have any issues with that. It does have that pin style where you just pull the pin, um, the thing moves. This one you pull to has five different spots on the back and four for the seat. Um, this is real leather, if I didn't mention that yet. It does have two inches of padding. It's a very, it's like kind of, it's firm, but it's kind of a comfy firm. So it's actually really nice um, as far as padding for this price, around $130. Very good padding. The clear coat is not very good. It's gonna scrape off. I actually purposely kind of dragged it a little bit on here. Uh, I was being a little rough with it on purpose to see how the bench would handle. Um, it's definitely starting to scrape. Um, these do, they do recommend when it goes in the pin, the pin pops in there, you're supposed to tighten it on this one um, just to make sure it's safe in there well. It's not hard because you only have to twist it a little bit. Um, it's not like you have to twist it a ton each time. So, and this one's only 16 inches off the ground. Flybird's 21 inches off the ground, which is ridiculous. That's the big negative of that bench. It's too high for most people, even though people still use it. Fire Fitness SES is like, what, 19 inches. The Rep Fitness AB5000, the 18 inches, and this one's 16. So this is a little low, which is really nice for people. Um, I'm 6'1", and it works fine. It feels a little low, but it works fine. Sorry about the floppy seat. I should have raised that back up. Looks weird. But, uh... The flybird's just too high. 21 inches for most people is too high. Um, you almost have to put something like the step under there just to put your feet on to get a good bracing when you're doing any kind of uh, pressing. But it's very comfortable seat. Both of these are about 30 inches. The back, I've measured them both. They're both the exact same. Um, this has about, th let me just flip this over here quick. This has about three inches right here of wood. I always like to point this out because um, this is usually one of the biggest weaknesses. So that three inches here is a, eh, it's, it's a little iffy. It's not super good. It could break because these are only half inches of wood, both of them. For cheaper benches, they are, usually are about half inch of wood. Um, three inches is basically the max I would, I would say I want to be. Um, the, down here is about three, two. The Flybird is only about two on the back, but then here it's almost four inches, which that's what the worst part, because that's where the pressure of your legs go down underneath those when you're doing any kind of decline. So that seat worries me a lot more than this bench in general. Um, I think when you're on it, it feels very secure. One thing I do want to mention is these type of footrests. I, I actually haven't seen this style before. Um, it looks kind of weird, but like, most cheap benches, cheaper benches, like around $100 range, they usually just have those on the front and the back, like the Flybird here. As you can see, I'm gonna show you something. So if I put my knee on here, see how it's rolling? It's not supposed to really roll, but they do because it's just round and there's nothing flat. This does not do that. Um, like it, it's not moving at all. So I do like that because the reason is, say you have that seat up, yeah, you're on an incline position, your feet are down here. Say you're trying to push up, do some incline. Well, sometimes you'd be shocked that you put some pressure on your feet when you're doing it because you're trying to stabilize yourself while you're pushing up some heavy dumbbells. Well, you'll slide backwards. I've slid backwards with that and I don't like that. So I do like the fact it has those nice, um, those on them, those feet, I guess they're called feet. Uh, but yeah, that pad's a lot better for decline. Um, the seating, the, this is a tw almost a 12 inch width uh, backrest too. I think the old one was 10 inches. So it's really nice to have that wide back. That one's about 10 inches on it, the Flybird. Um, the style pins on that are better. They're a little bit easier. These ones you do have to, to twist down. Not a huge fan of that.
Also, the Flybird does stand up on its side. The Rit Fit does not stand up on its side. There's no way to stand it up on its side. So I figured I'd just show you that just in case you guys are looking at the Flybird or maybe you're looking at this and then at least you can check out the Flybird. All right, guys, for foldable weight benches, I think these are both pretty good. They're pretty even in my eyes. It just depends more of what you're looking for. Uh, the Rit Fit is... A it's only 16 inches off the ground compared to 21 inches off the ground with the Flybird. Um, I think that helped. that's better for a lot of people in that sense. Um, <clears throat> even if you're taller, I don't think that's an issue being lower to the ground like that. It doesn't feel like it affects me in any negative way. Um, I like the fact that the RIT Fit has a wider back, the 12-inch back. It's really nice. It has real leather, which is really nice. Um, I think that the seating, the seat is a little bit more stronger because it's not... It doesn't have that four inch gap like the Flybird does. It's only got like a three inch gap, uh, which is where all the pressure of your legs go. So I like that. It's got a way, uh, way better decline setup. Uh, the leg holder is way more comfortable, sticks out farther. Flybird ones just, you, you just, your legs are just too close. And then the decline on the Flybird is just too deep. It's like 35 degrees, which is ridiculous um, in my opinion for my decline angles. But uh, yeah, I like that. I like the, the foot footings on the Rit Fit because it keeps you from moving around a lot better than the Flybird does. Um, it doesn't fold up as nicely as the Flybird does. Uh, it's like 16 inches off the ground. So if you need something to be more compact, the Flybird is more compact, which I like with that. Um, the locking system on the Flybird is better. It's got a nicer pin to it, uh, better clear coat on it. Uh, but I mean, it, it just kind of depends what you guys are looking for. Uh, hopefully, you know, just watching it helps, but I think they're both pretty good weight benches. Uh, just depends what you're looking for, but, uh, and the rip fit is a little bit cheaper, so maybe that'll help. But all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, just leave a like, and I got tons more videos coming. Uh, if you got anything you want me to review specifically, just leave a comment and, uh, I'll try to review it here eventually. And, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.